let's go to Psalm 84 and 11. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. So let's focus on this last section here. So to me, what this is saying to me is that God will fulfill your needs. Yes, you may not receive everything you want. You may not receive everything you desire. I am not saying that God is going to make you rich, but I believe he will take care of you. He will look out for you. I believe those things are possible when you choose to live for him. Not to say that you are going to do everything right. Not to say you won't make mistakes. But I believe if you continuously, without end, try to live for Jesus Christ, and have the heart, or should I say the mind, to never give up, to want to do better, I believe God is going to bless you. Why wouldn't he? No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. So I believe a holy, righteous lifestyle is connected to God's blessings. Or should I say God's favor? For instance, I believe God is like a parent. If you are a good parent, I believe after a while, you will punish your children when they choose to do what is wrong, depending on the situation and everything like that, of course. I don't think you will continuously reward a child who wants to do wrong. If you are a good parent, I believe there are some parents who allow their children to slap them and talk back to them in a rude way and mess like that. You may not be a good parent. With Jesus Christ, I believe he will reward us not that we are going to do everything right, but I believe he will reward us if he sees that we are trying, we are actively doing what he wants us to do. And if you read other parts of the Bible as well, I believe this idea or this concept, I should say, is in the Bible more than one time, maybe in different words, but pretty much the same concept. If you are choosing to live a life that is unpleasing to God and you are having many hardships, 
I believe the answer is easy, change your life. If a lifestyle is not rewarding to you, but is bringing doom and despair, why not change it? Some people may say that living for Jesus Christ is boring. You know, Jesus Christ is so restrictive, so demanding, so commanding, so, what other word do some people say? Like he is a tyrant or whatever, whatever else like that. Whatever you think, the way I see it, God made everything. God made us. So if someone made everything and made us, what choice do we really have other than obeying what he says? What successful choice is there other than obedience? I know for myself, I need constant favor. I need constant blessings. I know every good thing that happens to me happens to me not because I am smart, not because I am so wise, not because, you know, whatever else like that. I know that everything is possible in my life because of Jesus Christ. I know it. So to live a life minus Jesus Christ is foolishness. I know that for myself. I know that I won't succeed if I try to live a life without Jesus Christ. I know many of the good things in my life now would probably fade away or become worse if I choose to turn my back against Jesus Christ. I hope this makes sense to you. So no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. So try to live a life pleasing to God. Try to follow his rules. Don't be discouraged if you begin to fail. Don't look at your failures so deeply. Pick yourself up and continue trying over and over and over. Let me stop here. God bless you.